Joyce, what about you? Um, take me a minute. Um, I'm very, very proud also, like Margaret. Um, my history is that my father was in World War II and, um, and was a doctor in World War II. And he did not talk about it either, although I didn't live with him that much, just from the age of 10 to 17, basically. And he was busy with his practice, so we didn't see him that much. So I don't know a lot of stories, but um, it pained him to do amputations and the war because he knew the men would come back and not have a job because in those days they did not treat them as a worthwhile person when they came home. So it pained him to do arms and legs amputations and uh, he was an orthopedic surgeon and loved that role to save the limbs as best he could or your back of course, your neck. But um, that troubled him deeply. Um, they put him in the worst of the fighting when he came, went into the service, and my uncles tell me more about it than he would probably. They don't talk much about it either. I have uncles that were in the war. Um, he was in the Navy, and uh, we were stationed at San Diego. I remember being there before he left. I was only three or four, but I do remember it. Um, he, When he came home, it destroyed the marriage, and um, I lived, did live with my grandparents too for a few years and when he remarried, that's when we came back to California, uh, my father, when he was extremely tired, he would scream in the middle of the night and uh, wake up the whole house because he was having uh, nightmares from the war. And he remembered incidents where their ship was left behind because it got caught in a barge and the Japanese were coming, and the Japanese, the, the convoy went without him, and he said those men worked so hard to get that ship loose, but his fear was to be eaten by sharks because he had been involved where some men were in the ocean. And the Indianapolis? He had been involved with the shark attack from the Indianapolis? Oh, no, uh, I don't know. It's not that one, dear. He, I honestly don't know what ship to be honest with. I don't know. Well, in the Pacific, but apparently, in Pacific, though. yeah, Pacific, uh-huh. And he remembers these screams, and so they, it just still bothered him to hear these men screaming. So he said that ship went down because it was destroyed, and they were trying to get theirs loose. And um, that really, really bothered him. To be that he would be eaten by the sharks that really bothered him more than anything because he saw it happen. Uh huh. He heard it. He said, uh -huh. but he wouldn't talk much about it. He was talking about how they get um, seasick, you know, because of being a doctor and ship. How these young soldiers coming on, how seasick they were. The war was bad. The war was bad. Very very bad. All war, right? Wrong. Oh, absolutely. Bad. All war is bad. They did what they had to do, and. Um, he got home. It was hard when he got back home. He had trouble getting his practice started. He had trouble getting back into California Hospital. Um, they had not left a place for him, you know. He had to get back on the faculty, so he had to build it all up again. Um, so my father, he was 45 when he died. I was 19, and um, it, it was very hard. He's a young man. So uh, my, my husband was also uh, in the war. i uh, not in the war, but a veteran, I'm sorry but in between, like Margaret's husband, and so he's very, very proud. And um, we do are very, try to be very patriotic in our family, and my intent to take our family to Hawaii for uh, our 50th anniversary this December is the, fam the young kids have to go to <laughs> the Arizona, mm -hmm. and if we can get on Ford Island, which my husband and I were able to get on this March, past March, very exciting because he's in the Civil Air Patrol. He could get on base, and we drove around, and you can see the uh, bullet holes in the buildings. And they took us. Were, actually, we were on a tour with one man because we were so early. He took us around to two buildings that have a beautiful museum on this Ford Island of the history of all of it. And it's just, it's just interesting how how Hawaii was attacked and all the things that happened on on the island and. The stories that go with that, of course, you know. Yeah. So, and your father's a part of all of that. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah.